Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Delicious Cooking Series. Today we're going to be talking about all things buffet service etiquette. I noticed that you guys absolutely love all of the et etiquette videos that I've put up in the past. And so I decided that at least once every month, I'll be sharing um, something around etiquette, whether it's relating to food or dining or lifestyle, something to just help you boost up your confidence and make you feel more comfortable whenever you are living this thing called life. <laughs> so today, like I said, we're going to be talking all things buffet service etiquette. So buffet services are very popular all around the world and it's popular in restaurants and informal and formal events as well. It's uh, an assortment or a variety of dishes laid out on the table for self-service. So at a buffet service, you are allowed to eat any and everything that your tummy can take. That is where some people go and eat and quench. <laughs> so a buffet service is supposed to be an enjoyable experience. But if you're not armed with the right mannerism or etiquette, you might end up um, embarrassing yourself and even irritating your fellow diners who are there to dine with you. There's nothing tedious or complicated about the etiquette rules that follow um, or that guide buffet services, but these are rules that you literally have to abide by. You guys, these are non-negotiables. You must abide by them. If not, you might end up embarrassing yourself. And we do not want that. I don't want that for you. <laughs> Anyway, so like I said before, buffet services can either be at a restaurant or when you go for an informal or informal event. I told you it's really quite popular all around the world now. So um, you can even have a buffet service in your house. So if you're hosting a buffet service at home or if you're invited to a buffet service in someone else's house, these rules also apply as well. So let's go right into these rules that make you feel more comfortable and more confident when you are invited to a buffet service. Before we go into it, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, what are you waiting for? Join our family. I really love to have you guys here. So go ahead and click the subscribe button and the notification bell just right beside you so you can get instantly notified whenever I upload a new video because I upload videos at least three times every week and you don't want to miss out on all of the action. And of course, if you like this video after watching it, I'm sure that you're definitely going to like. Do not forget to give us a thumbs up. I always love to see all of your likes. All right, guys, now let's get right into the etiquette. So before we begin with the etiquette, it's important to note that there are different types of buffet services that is dependent on the time of day. So, for example, in the mornings, you are expected to have a breakfast buffet and what you are expected to see at a breakfast buffet are breakfast type things. So don't expect that you're going to see um, maybe um, heavy pounded yam and a goosey soup when you go for a breakfast buffet. Same applies to lunch. Don't expect that you're going to see breakfast type things at a lunch style buffet or breakfast style things at a dinner style buffet. So you'll have to have that in mind so that you know what you're expecting when you go there. So sometimes you may be invited for a breakfast buffet, expect breakfast type things. Lunch buffet, expect lunch type things. Dinner buffet, expect dinner type things. Okay, you get the drift. All right, now let's go into the etiquette for part. This time we're really going into it. So the very first rule on my list is always keep to the schedule of the buffet service. Most, now, this rule applies to both the restaurants and when you go for an informal or informal dining event or even when someone invites you to their house. At a restaurant, there's usually a scheduled time for the different types of um, um, buffet service. So if it's a breakfast buffet, for example, I think it usually runs from about 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. It's different for different restaurants. So if the buffet service is from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., don't show up at 10.05, expecting them to still leave out the different dishes on the buffet, on the buffet setup. It's, 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 it's actually really tacky and because at that time, they're supposed to be packing up and maybe preparing for their next service. And then you show up at 10.05 trying to disrupt the flow of their schedule. So always ensure that you keep to the schedule of the buffet service wherever it is you go. Never go late. And if you go for an event and you go late, well, I don't know what might happen. You might not need the food, so that one's on you. <laughs> Always keep to the buffet service schedule. 
Okie dokie. So the second thing to help you feel more confident when you go to a buffet service is when you get into the restaurant or into the event center or wherever it is, don't rush straight to where um, the buffet setup is. First of all, go to your seats and settle in there. Settle into your seat, feel comfortable, catch your breath if you must, and then spend that time to survey the environment. Now, surveying the environment will let you know where the buffet service is kept, is placed, so you know exactly where to go when it's time to enjoy your meal or to pick up your food or whatnot. Just take time and survey the environment because sometimes a buffet service has um, 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 are placed at different points or different locations in the restaurant or in the event center. So for example, the appetizer might be placed on one end, the dessert might be placed on another end, the drink section might be placed on another end. So, or sometimes they're always all together. But just in case they're not together, just take time and just survey the environment, scan through the room, just so that you familiarize yourself with everything that's happening in that room and that way you feel more comfortable and confident. Take time, go to your seat, settle in, catch a breath, survey the room, scan the room, get comfortable with your environment before you make the move to go serve yourself at the buffet setup, okay? Now, when you are still on your seat, also spend some time to scan the table as well. At a buffet service, the only items that you would find on your table are usually your napkin, your cut the cutlery set, and then the glassware. You would never find a dishware on your table because the dishware are not supposed to be on the table. They're supposed to be close to where the meals are kept on the buffet setup. So don't go about asking the waiter to bring you a plate so that you can go take your food, no. When you go to where the buffet is, you would find all of the plates that you, or the dishware that you need to serve yourself. So on the table, the only thing you're expected to find or to see are your napkins, the cutlery set, and the dishware, sorry, the glassware. You can also find some props, like the things used to decorate the table. That's also something you can find, but don't expect to find the dishware on the table. So take time and scan your table as well to see everything that's in it. And then if preventure you don't see a cutlery set or your glassware on the table, Maybe it's at the buffet stand, but ideally it's supposed to be on the table. If you scan and see that it's not on the buff or the buffet stand, you can now call a waiter and then request that you need a, a cutlery or a glassware for um, for your meal. Okay, yeah, so that's the third one. So the fourth etiquette is after surveying the environment and it's time for you to get up to go to the buffet setting or to maybe ease yourself or wherever it is you want to go to. Always ensure that you place your napkin on your seat. Now, this signifies that you will be coming back to the seat and anyone who sees it will know that the seat is already occupied. But if you don't have anything on the seat, anyone can just come take your seat and it's not their fault. You end up just having a banter with someone where you could have easily avoided it by just placing your napkin on the seat, okay? So the fifth rule is one of the most important for me and I think it should be the most important for you guys as well. And before I say that, before I say it, I'm, and let me just take some time to explain to you um, what a buffet setup usually looks like. So at a restaurant, at a normal, typical um, buffet setup, the restaurant would usually have appetizer, the main meal, and the dessert section. That's how they, they um, it's usually a three course meal setup. So the appetizer has different things in it you can pick from. The main meal has different things in it you can pick from and the dessert has different things in it you can pick from. One thing that a lot of people do when they go, oh my God, it's just so tacky. One thing that a lot of people do that is very annoying and disgusting is when you go to the buffet, you start to load up your plate with every and anything. Like you literally overfill your plate because you feel, oh my God, I've seen food. Let me die here. No. Never ever overfill your plate. Because the truth of the matter is that you can go back to the buffet setup as many times as you want. You can go back as many as, as much as 10 to 20 times if that's what you want. So never overfill your plate. I don't want to see spaghetti and a piece of cake on the same plate. It's wrong. Do you understand what I mean? It's absolutely wrong. 
The right thing to do is start with the appetizer, also known as the starter, before you work your way into the main meal and then finally the dessert. If you don't want to start with the appetizer or the starter, if you don't like anything there, you can start with the main meal before you go into the dessert. So usually the starter is uh, usually like simple light finger foods or snacks and treats or your salad or soups or light soups that you can just start with to wake up your taste buds and get them ready for what's to come. So you, so it's always advisable that you start, you begin your the buffet thingy from the starter. Usually the starter dishwares are small or if you're, if you're serving a soup, you can look for a small soup bowl. Pick up a starter dishware and look, glance through, scan through the starter and see what you like. And then pick what you like on the, on, uh, put on your plate and take it in bits, in tiny bits. Remember, you have a whole lot to, to, to enjoy. If you take everything at once, you will end up not eating as much. You will end up losing your appetite. So start with the starter, scan through and say, okay, I want the salad, I want this, I want that, I want the spring roll. Put it in bits on your plate. Then gently walk your way back to your seat, sit down, finish enjoying the starter before you think about continuing with the main meal. It's just the right thing to do. Never overfill your plates. Don't put starter and then soup and pounded yam and then a cake or uh, a parfait or whatever thing is served as dessert on the same plate it's just so tacky and it just everyone will just know that ah, this one is raz this one just came to show that they have long throats hmm? that's what the, i judge people at buffet services though <laughs> i judge and if i see you doing that i'm literally going to judge you and say you probably don't have any food to eat in your house that's why you came here to, to, to showcase to display your <laughs> your, your longer throat self <laughs> So my advice is never always, never fill up your plates. Start with one meal before you walk your way to another. So the starter first or the appetizer, then the main meal, then the dessert. Never do all three together. It's just tacky. Okay. Now still on the buffet table setup, the sixth rule or the sixth etiquette to guide you is do not interchange seven utensils. So usually every meal on the buffet stand has its own serving utensil. So it can either be a serving fork or a serving spoon or a serving tongue or whatever it is, but everything on that setup has its own designated um, utensil. So do not use an, a utensil used for one particular meal for another. Now there are different reasons why, but my main reasons are if you, use, if you interchange seven spoons that way someone who might be allergic to a particular food would not know that you have used that the spoon for that food to serve something that he's not allergic to and then he uses that spoon to serve himself and he has an allergic reaction and no one knows where it's coming from so help your fellow diners and don't just think about yourself when you go to a buffet service the second thing is you might spoil the taste of another meal for another person when you interchange utensils like that so always ensure that you use the seven utensils meant for the particular thing that you're taking so if for example you have um fish stew and beef stew or and turkey stew three different meals there is, there's usually a seven spoon for fish stew a seven spoon for turkey stew and a seven spoon for beef stew or chicken stew now when you pick the seven spoon for beef stew and serve it on your plate drop the seven spoon for that beef stew back and then pick up the seven spoon for the fish stew or the next stew and use that instead don't use the beef the seven spoon for the beef one for the fish one i don't know if i'm making sense stick to one stick to the seven spoon that's designated for whatever meal it is that you're serving don't interchange spoons or utensils okay and I would also say this on the dish, it's absolutely wrong to use your personal spoon to dish out food from uh, uh, the buffet setup. That's the absolute least. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't ever try it. It's so wrong. So the seventh rule on my list is if there is someone dishing out a particular meal that you want to take or you want to have a partake of, wait for them to be done before you take yours 
so don't go over them or don't try to go over them and don't 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 make them feel uncomfortable by just going near them and letting them know oh yes i'm waiting for you hurry up no give them some space and give them some time to pick whatever it is they want to pick without feeling like they're rushed by you or you're breathing down their neck so give them some space move back a little bit give them some space so that they do not feel rushed this is one very important one as well and i also forgot to mention this earlier this is also an important rule do not jump the queue if there is a queue at the buffet service you go for so if you find people on the line don't cut the line it's very wrong and unconscious for you to do that wait in line for your turn and then just go gradually like that that way you bring orderliness and everything is a little more organized and um and easier for you so never ever jump the queue okay so the eighth rule on my list is never taste food while on the buffet line now whether you're tasting the food with your spoon like i said or with your finger don't even try to dip your finger into that thing please even if you've served it on your own plate never never taste or put food in your mouth on the buffet line wait until you return to your seat before you taste the food and if you return to your seat and you taste the food and you don't like the food you can always push it aside and go back for something that you know that you might like but never taste the food on the buffet line okay i mean you can go back to the buffet as many times as possible you always remember that you are not restricted to once or twice and nobody's going to look at you funny even if you go a million times it's your money it's your it's your service it's your time so go back as many times as you want but to avoid any form of waste always ensure that you pick things that you know that you can actually eat don't try to be adventurous or don't try to be i don't know just pick what you can eat so that you avoid any form of waste because if you don't eat it and you take it back to your table no one is going to eat it anymore and it's just going to go to waste so pick what you can eat but even if you have picked something you don't like don't taste it on the buffet line it's very very wrong and tacky to do that okay moving right along to the next rule do not sneeze or cough on the buffet line you guys this is the most unsanitary thing you can ever do in your life sneezing or coughing around where different dishes are set for different types of people do not sneeze do not cough hold it you can hold it don't show yourself on the buffet line people will run away <laughs> jokes apart guys even if you must sneeze or cough try and find your way very fast out of the buffet line and do what you have to do because sometimes it's a, it's a reflex action so find your way really fast out of there and cough or sneeze but don't sneeze or cough when you're trying to take a meal don't sneeze and cough <clears throat> on the meals it's, it's very unsanitary and it's very wrong and it will definitely put your diners off and make them not want to partake in the in the buffet service anymore so okay okay so this next rule is for when you are back on your table and you are done eating a meal and you're ready to take the next you're ready to go for the next meal please leave your used or dirty plates behind on the table do not take your dirty plates back to the buffet um, um, area to dish out food on the dirty plates that is very unsanitary that is very wrong that is very tacky leave the used or dirty plate on the table and just get up and go get a fresh plate and serve yourself usually at restaurants or at events when a waiter notices that you have gotten up to go pick up another meal he comes to your table and clears out the dirty plate that you have used okay so you don't have to worry about the dirty plate most often than not by the time you get back to the table the plate is already cleared away and you have a fresh surface to work with but never take a dirty plate or used plate back to the buffet line to refill no drop it there go pick a cleaner one okay and then of course if you um come back to the to the table and you meet your dirty plate there what you do is move it aside drop the one you have in front of you sit down quietly and then look for a, a waiter that is within your eye eye range and signal to them to come clear because sometimes it can be an oversight and they might forget to um pick up your dirty plate especially uh, at events or, or in a restaurant where they have a lot of people they're attending to and they don't have a lot of staff or waiters to 
attend to everyone so it might just be an oversight don't make a fuss about it just simply drop your food sit down then signal to the waiter within your closest eye range and get tell them to come get help you get the dirty plate away okay and they will come and take it away because they know that that's what they are supposed to do okay if you attend a buffet service with your family and friends and every one of you goes to pick your plate and you are the first to come back to the table always wait for at least three or four or of your friends to come back to the table before you begin eating it is just common courtesy and shows that you're well-mannered and have respect for those who have come to enjoy the good time with you imagine you go take your food and you're the first person on the table and you just start eating like a wolf wolf and you all come back and you're already eating you're like ah oh, but we came here to have a good time together why would you go before us or why would you start eating before us it just it's just not really so nice so wait for them at least two or three of them to come back before you begin with your food so the next rule you guys this is for me is like the most the most test important test <laughs> if there's any word like that this is the most important rule to abide by at a buffet service there are no doggy bags what I mean by doggy bags is no takeaways don't come there with a takeaway pack or a bag to pack food away no the whole idea of a buffet service is for you to come there and eat as much as your tummy can take do not request for takeaway packs from the waiters or tell them you want to take away food or something no that's just so wrong in fact they will not even listen to you and don't try to sneak food into your bag or your purse or whatever don't do that that is just so embarrassing as well eat as much as you can there and that's why I said to you don't start out packing and keeping food on your plate you will get discouraged start out by taking things in small portions small portions you find out that when you take things in small portions you're able to eat a lot more than when you pack everything you just lose your appetite and you don't have the fun experience anymore okay so the next one is usually a buffet comes with, when you pay for your buffet, it usually comes with um, a free water, a free bottle of water, a free glass of water and a drink. And then if you don't have drinks already set up on the buffet stand, don't go requesting drinks for free like you, you are the one who owns it. Do you understand? If the drink is not already set up for you, just know that it's not free and whatever drink you want, apart from the water that's already been offered you, you would have to pay for. So request the drink menu, get the pick what you want, and then ensure that you pay for that when you're done. It's not part of the buffet service, okay? At least the restaurants have to make some money from uh, what you're eating. Imagine paying very little amount of money to enjoy a lot of meal, and then you still want them to give you free, free, free drinks. Why? <laughs> pay for the drinks, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to delve much into um, when the food arrives and you start to eat, how to identify the different cutlery because I already did that in my second etiquette video. I'm going to put the link in the description box down below so you, um, you can check it out to know how to identify the different cutlery set and the different glassware that's in front of you and how to properly eat with a fork and a knife. All of that will be in the description box um, down below. But um, the last things I'm going to say um, concerning etiquette for buffet or buffet service is always learn to use the words thank you and excuse me regardless of who it is but to your fellow diners or to your wait or to the waiters because you, you're going to be moving around a lot in the restaurant. So chances are that you might bump into someone, you might something, something might just happen. So learn to say excuse me, learn to say thank you and learn to say sorry if need be because you might just hurt someone. So just say sorry very fast and have a smile on your face and of course do not forget to tip the waiters even though they are not waiting on you and you're the one waiting on yourself they still have to clear out the dirty dishes when you're done with it so find something for them tip them it doesn't have to be so much it doesn't have to be um it just make sure it's not little but at least something for them to make them smile and remember I also talked about how to tip your how to tip the waiter in a very classy way in an ele in an elegant manner check out the video the link for that video down in the description box so that you can watch it and learn um, something new about that as well but yeah always ensure you say thank you sorry excuse me and then tip the waiter and have a big smile on your face when you go for a buffet service whether at a restaurant a formal or an informal event or even your family or a friend's house if, in if they invite you for one all right so those are all of the um etiquettes that i have on my list 
If there's anyone you think that I'm missing out, as always, please kindly leave a comment in the, in the comment section down below so that we can continue this conversation. I also want to learn something new from you guys if there's anything that I may be missing out because, hey, I love to go for buffet services a lot and I love to take my friends and family. So I always want to have my confidence and I want to feel very comfortable. So if there's anything at all you think I'm missing out, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'll see you again next time with another video, whether a cooking video or a discussion video or whatever kind of video. Until then, remember to be very kind to one another, love yourselves generously, and it's me, the queen of fun and fast cooking, not the queen of talking, signing out right now. Take care, guys. <laughs>